Hi guys, today I'm going to explain the problem of fleeing a flight from master in physics from the section of motion in one dimension. In this problem, you will apply kinematic equations to a jumping flea. Take the magnitude of free fall acceleration to be 9.8 meters per second square. Ignore the air resistance. So this problem has two parts. We are going to start working on part A. A flea jumps straight up to a maximum height of 0.41 meters. What is the initial velocity BO as it leaves the ground? Express your answer in meters per second to three significant figures. So as we can see the flea is on the ground. So y is equal to zero at time equal to zero. That's the starting point. Then suddenly the flea jumps with an initial velocity of BO. And as we can see here, it gets to a maximum height of 0.41 meters. When the flea is at its maximum point, the final velocity is equal to zero because at a maximum height, the flea is stopped. So we know that at the maximum height, final velocity is equal to zero. What we want to know is what is the initial velocity that the flea had just in the moment when it jumped from the floor. To find the initial velocity, we are going to use the kinematic equations. I selected this equation because the only unknown value that we have in this moment is the initial velocity as I'm going to show. We already said that the final velocity is equal to zero. We don't know the initial velocity VO for now, plus two times the acceleration, that's gravity. The problem stated that gravity should be 9.8 meters per second squared, and it is negative because gravity is going downwards and 0.41 meters is delta y, that's the displacement of the flea from the ground to the top. Then we do some arithmetic. B final square is equal to zero, and that's equal to B initial square minus 8.036. That's the result of that multiplication. We do some more arithmetic, solving for BO, that's the initial velocity, and we found that the flea had a 2.835 meters per second initial velocity in the moment that it jumped from the floor. And we can see that our calculations were right. Now for part B. How long is the flea in the air from the time it jumps to the time it hits back to the ground? Express the answer in seconds to three significant figures. So basically what they want to know is the time of flight from the moment it was in the floor, it went up and came back. From the kinematic equations, I selected one that had delta y, that's the displacement of the flea. We know the initial velocity, and for this case, we know that the acceleration is gravity. So the only unknown that we have for this equation is the time of flight. That's why I selected this equation, and we're going to solve for the time. We know that displacement is x final minus x initial. As the flea goes up, but it comes back to the ground where it started, that's why displacement is equal to zero. We can see that we got second degree equation. Let's do some algebra. And we found 2.835 times t minus 4.9 times t squared. What I'm going to do is to factor t. So t is factor of 2. 835 minus 4.9t. This is only factoring for this equation to be equal to zero. One of the options is that t is equal to zero, as we can see here, but also when minus 4.9t plus 2.835 is equal to zero. So we know that one of the values is t equal to zero, which is true because the flea was on the ground at the beginning of the experiment, and the second moment in time when the flea comes back to the ground, that's the time of flight that we need. It's what we're going to find solving this equation. Now we subtract 2.835 and divide minus 4.9. Minus divided by minus is plus, and we get that the time of flight is 0.579 seconds. This is the amount of time that it took to the flea to jump, go up, and then to come back down to the ground to the position where it was before in the moment the experiment started. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was useful. Remember to share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and anyone who's taking physics and you think that it could be beneficial for them to watch this. Have a great time and I'll see you in the next video.